Hello guys, welcome to GIS and let's get started. First, add your location data. In this video, we are determining amount of minerals from vector data. In our last video, I, have sh I had shown the same thing from raster data and in this video, we are doing it from vector data. After adding your location data, make the color white. Then add your soil sample data. After adding this both, right click on the blank space where you find lots of tools and select geostatistical in a list you can select or unselect any tool you like then click on the geostatistical in a list and then go to geostatistical wizard now to Kriging and in data field you can select any mineral you would like to determine we are going for zinc then next go for ordinary next and then finish now you can look at the view we have got Kriging and remember always work with the tool at the right right corner below table of content always work in that now right click on Kriging go to data and then export to vector last time we had done from export to raster it will take some time as you can see it is already filled yeah, now you have to click on the classification go to classification don't change anything else and in classification you have to select uh, what type of classification you want you can go for anything you like uh, here is geometric equal we are going for equal if you like to um,
select geo processing and then clip we can only use geo processing for clipping in vector data not in raster data then input the latest data and in clip features select the boundary here lama is the boundary the work is being done it is done now you can see it like this then you can unselect the other unnecessary data then right click on the latest one and then go to properties go for symbology and in quantities go for classes and classify choose the method of interval we have done equal and number of classes then okay and in label you can type the range from very low to very high we are doing here for zinc content from very low zinc content to very high zinc content you can do it as you like and it also depends on the mineral you select you can also change the color from the color range then apply and then ok and it would look like this now we have to determine the area for that right click on the last one and then go to open attribute table then go to add field and add area you can also add perimeter or anything you like and for numeric type is always double then ok you can find like this right click on area and then calculate geometry you can here select the unit we are selecting hector then ok now you have determined the area also in hectares and this much for today